Uh, some 13 hours from uh, now, tonight, uh, B.B. Comer will be down at Fayetteville to take on the Fayetteville Wolves. For the first time, these two teams meet in the regular season in their history. Uh, Coach Anthony Jacks of B.B. Comer joins us, and we'll be talking about the Fayetteville game in just a little bit. But, man, kind of storming this morning. Good thing it's not 12 or 13 hours later, right? I know. That's right. This is Flat, flooding outside, so yeah. ho hopefully uh, get on out of here and, and uh, I believe we'll have some good weather for the game tonight. Coach, talk about the very, very uh, disheartening loss right at the end of the game. Right. Uh, it was homecoming for B.B. Comer, honoring the 68 state championship team. Things had gone pretty well uh, through most of the night, and, and then that uh, turnover bug grabs us again. The kid's trying to make a play. Right. But your thoughts on last Friday night's loss to Vincent? Well, I thought we played well, uh, a lot better than what we've been playing. The kids, uh, they, they played hard. You know, they fought and they scratched and they clawed. Uh, and uh, you know we had some we had some uh, some breakdowns defensively early, uh, but felt like we got those things fixed. And uh, you know in the second half they didn't score until uh, you know right there at the end of the game where we had some injuries. I think that was a turning point in the game. Uh, we felt like we were just about had control of the game. Uh, you know we lost uh, Spencer who started at fullback for us right there. At and the end. was having a good game. Too. Oh yeah, right there at the end of the first half. You know sprained his ankle pretty pretty severe. Uh, and, uh, you know, so there goes your first full back down. And then, uh, so we put Tyree back there. And, of course, Tyree's an exceptional player for us. And, and you say he, he breaks 50 yards and scores a touchdown. And when he's in the end zone, he gets spun around. And, and his, his knee goes this way and his body goes this way. And, uh, you know, so he sprains his knee. And, and so he's out for the game. He's also a start middle linebacker, you know. So we've, we've lost basically two line, a defensive lineman and a fullback. And then a fullback and our starting linebacker. So, um, you know, we just had – uh, a lot of injuries, some unfortunate things happened to us there. Uh, just kind of got us out of a, a rhythm where we felt like, you know, we, we didn't have a, you know, your fourth fullback really don't get a whole lot of reps in practice. So, um, And people say, well, it's next man up, and, and, and that is true, but there's a numbers game that we're playing too. Yeah, that's right. You know, and, uh, you know, when you lose, you lose somebody like Tyree McKinney, um, I mean, he's just an exceptional player on both sides of the ball, and uh, that just eliminates that. You know, you got to have a lot of times in a football game, you got to have that somebody that you can turn and hand the ball to, and they're going to get your yardage, and, and you can salt the game away. Well, we kind of lost that a little bit, and then plus lose them on defense right there at the end. Uh, we we had a chance to get them off the field uh, when they were tied up. I think we had like a third and fifteen or something, and they they scrambled and hit a pass, uh, get a first down, and then hit another pass down to the goal line. So just like that, they're down there on the goal line and score. We had another chance on a two point conversion to stop them, and they got that. So. Uh, just had some unfortunate things there. We thought about taking it overtime, but with our depth, we were a little bit nervous about that. So we decided to go ahead and try to win the game and uh, thought we had a, co a couple good play calls. And then right there, a guy came off the edge and hit the quarterback from the blind side, and the ball pops out. And, you know, when that ball hit the ground, I'm looking up at the clock, and it's, it's four seconds. I said four, three, you know, and it just stopped. Yeah, I'm thinking, well, frozen in time. Yeah, I, I thought it might, you know, when I looked up, I thought, well, it would be close to zero, but there was th still three seconds on the clock. And, I, you know, give the uh, kid from Vincent credit. I mean, I, I you know, he struggled to make extra points. I think he missed two. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought, well, there's no way he's going to make a 33 yarder right here at the end of the game. And, and sure enough, he, he punched he it. He could have made it from 43 yeah, on it that was, kick. It was, it was a great kick. And, uh, you know, and we tried to block it. But, uh, like I said, you know, I, I felt like our kids played hard. We played well enough to win the game. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, still ball security is an issue for us. Uh, but, you know, our kids are, are playing hard. They wanted it, you know. So I, I think uh, we've came back this week and we've had a good week of practice, you know, based off of that. We saw we've practiced. We played well. We got a chance to, to you know, to see that we can compete, and we, we've had a good week of practice. So please Offensively, uh, last Friday night against Vincent, the I formation seemed to be user-friendly for you guys. Yeah, you know, and, and we've kind of bounced back and forth. You know, started out this year using a little bit more shot game, but, uh, you know, that's just been more problematic for us. But, uh, you know, we got back under center. We've been in the, in the eye, been in the wishbone a little bit. Uh, our kids just feel at home doing that. And, uh, you know, Houston Ford did a great job running the option for us. I mean, he is uh, – He's just a 10th grader and uh, really excited about him in the future. I think he's really going to be uh, an exceptional player for us. And he's still real raw right now, but, but you can see, I mean, he's just he can, he's a playmaker. He makes plays. 
Well, tonight, B.B. Uh, Comer travels to Fayetteville to take on the Wolves, and Coach John Limbaugh has done a mm -hmm. splendid job there. And you, you guys are pretty close. You, yep. you know his program. He knows yours. And, and, uh, but B.B. Uh, Comer going for their first win tonight against the Wolves That's at right. Fayetteville. Well, and we need it, you know, and, and Coach Limbaugh has done an outstanding job. I mean, Fayetteville, uh, if you look look now and where they've been in the past, I mean they are uh, they're they're a good team. I mean they they just moved stepped up to two A. Yeah, and... they're two A. We're not really that far apart. This will be the first time we've ever actually played a real game. We've played some jamborees before, mm -hmm. but um, you know they're they're a, a legitimate program. They you know get in the eye and they run right at you. And they do exactly what they need to do to be to to win games down there, and that's you know control the ball and and um, you know play mistake free, and mm -hmm. they do a good job of doing that. So. We're really gonna to have to play well. Uh, you know, we feel like if we take care of ourselves, you know, it will. Uh, we'll have a great shot. You know, but that, that's kind of been an issue for us this year is, is taking care of ourselves. So we've got to take care of the football tonight. You talked about the practices have gone well this week, mm -hmm. and and repetition they say has a lot to do with the ball security. But doggone, you have to have to just think sometimes, man. We got to get this. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, like I said, we've had a good week. Uh, we, we've got a lot of guys banged up, you know. We'll, you know, Ty Tyree uh, won't be back tonight. We, we're gonna have a lot of a lot of new guys carrying the ball, so yeah, that, that concerns you also. Uh, you know, Zach Dobbs is probably gonna have to play a good bit on offense tonight, and he, I don't think he's got to carry all year, but he's probably gonna carry it tonight some. And uh, you know, uh, we've tried a, a, a number of options back here. Demetrius Griffin uh, is gonna have to play some running back for us, and and uh, Terrell McCain is gonna have to play some running back for us. So. Some guys that's got a little bit of experience, but but not a whole lot, not our leading ball carriers. So, but I think they'll be ready. They've had a good week. Uh, quickly, coach, talk about uh, you know you got uh, most of your guys play both ways. Mm -hmm. You got some big guys that play both right. ways. It's got to be taxing on them. But man, you got some guys that have been there for three or four years playing for you. Yeah, you know, you got somebody like Austin Nicholson. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's what I told him. If, if we could just put him on the defensive line, I, I don't think anybody in the, you know in America could block him. But uh, he plays both ways for us, and he he does an outstanding job. He's done that ever since I've been here. Uh, I think uh, as a ninth grader, uh, pretty much playing both ways and done an outstanding job for us. Uh, you know, and and he never comes off the field. Just like his brother Trey, you know, they, they those are two that they've ne they never came off the field. Trey Raglan, uh, they they were on the field on every every special team, just about every offensive possession, every defensive possession, hardly ever come off. And, and they're just, you know, got that warrior mentality. We got some guys like that. Uh, and those are fun to coach. You know, you, you, you would like to get them off. We try to get them off some things, but uh, we got a lot, a lot of guys going both ways. But I think we've done a good job getting them in shape. We haven't really had any issues this year with, with cramping or anything like that. So, uh, but, but, you know, you'd like to see that. Yeah, you try to get those guys off at halftime, give them a break, and go back at it in the third and fourth. <laughs> That's quarter. right. You get them off a play, and you're like, okay. final final thought with you. Uh, field goal, the final play of the game against Vincent last week, and uh, a lot of people are thinking it is going to overtime. We thought right. it in the press box, but uh, you know you're gearing up for overtime, right. and and uh, but uh, special teams play such a key role uh, in winning or losing. Yeah, they do. You know, they can they can they can really uh, in, in any of they can they can kill you quicker than you know not necessarily win the game for you but they can get you beat real quickly you know you get a punt blocked or if you muff a punt return I mean you talk about a huge change in field position you fumble a kickoff return you, you know you think about those things you know and it's just as, as simple as holding on to the ball that's what I, we always say when I send that kickoff team out there what's the most important thing you know everybody thinks running it back and getting good fit no we want to come off the field with the ball that's the most important thing <laughs> so uh, special teams can can get you beat quickly and, uh, you know, uh, those are things that, that we've got to take, you know, make sure we do a good job of doing. All right, uh, Fayetteville and B.B. Comer tonight at Farm Links Field. Uh, coach Anthony Jacks, our guest this morning, the head football coach at B.B. Comer. Coach, good luck, and let's get that first win tonight. Yes, sir, thank you. More on daybreak as we continue with our co uh, Coach's Corner segment, Matt Griffith, Sylacauga High School. Uh, big win last week over Childersburg. We'll tell you about that and more as daybreak continues after this. <laughs> 